Researchers here in Singapore are using a more efficient way to treat patients who have a resistant form of blood cancer called acute lymphoblastic leukemia. This is the first time the method is being used here. It slashes the treatment period by more than 90% compared to traditional chemotherapy. And the cancer mostly affects those under 25 years old, with about 60 such cases diagnosed in Singapore each year. June Lowe with more. Joel Lim was first diagnosed with leukemia when he was just seven years old. Over the years, he has been fighting the cancer with chemotherapy. He even had a bone marrow transplant, but continues to relapse. Now at 21 years old, Joel is in remission thanks to the new CAR T cell therapy, which he had undergone in March this year. He is one of 10 patients here who is treated with the method under a trial with the National University Hospital. In terms of side effects, the new treatment, the CAR T treatment, is much less compared to when you do chemo. The only side effects that I've experienced so far is a mild fever. Compared to when you're going through chemo, it is vomiting, fever, aches. Chemotherapy is also more time consuming. Treatment period can go up to two and a half years, while the new CAR T cell therapy takes between three to four weeks. We take uh, these cells from the body of a patient, put them in the lab, and put on top of them a receptor that allows them to bind cancer cells. And when the binding occurs, the switch is turned on, the T cells are activated and they kill the target cells. So mm -hmm. this is what CAR T cell therapy is, to teach the immune system to recognize cancer and do that effectively. About 80 to 85 percent of patients will be cured generally with chemotherapy. However, the 15 percent that we know who will fail therapy, um, the complications rates are very high. The cure rates unfortunately are also lower. To allow more to benefit from the new treatment, researchers will partner hospitals in Malaysia to start a trial involving 100 patients from January next year.